Natural disasters can strike at any time, and it's important for families to have a place, a plan in place to keep all of their loved ones safe, and that's including their pets. Here with how you can protect your pet is Dr. Ellen Lowry with Hills Pet Nutrition, along with Rich Anderson with Peggy Animals uh, and Adams Animal Rescue League, League. Excuse me. Good morning to you both. Great to have you on the show. Good morning. Good morning, Stephanie. So how should pet owners be prepared in case of an emergency? What's the first thing we should be thinking about? Well, the critical word is prepare. Um, so it's important to prepare today and not when a disaster is at our doorstep. Um, so, so there are some very simple steps to take to prepare for your, your pets, the pets in your family. Uh, a lot of times that piece of a, an evacuation plan is forgotten. Um, so it's really important to include your pet in your, in your disaster planning uh, and to do it today and not wait until it might be too late when you really don't have time to think. Right, and you know, when you get in those situations, that's exactly how it ends up going. You're kind of in a panic and it, it's hard to think about what to do. So you say that you should have on hand a pet emergency go kit, right? Yes, that, that's correct. It's really important to be prepared and have that kit ready. So you want to be thinking about two to three days worth of food and water, um, a dish to feed and water them out of, a leash, a, a collar or a safety harness. Um, your pet's health history is always a good idea. And then it's great to have something that they're familiar with that's very comforting to them, um, like a favorite toy or, or a blanket. And when you talk about emergencies, what exactly are you speaking to when you say emergencies? Obviously here in Florida, we have hurricanes that can put us into a panic when we're trying to get everything together. But what, what exactly are you talking about when you say emergency? Well, it could be anything. Yeah, like you said, hurricanes down here is what everyone thinks of first. Um, but as you may have seen, there are uh, wildfires that have struck parts of Florida. Um, it could be a man-made disaster. There could be a chemical spill. Um, in your neighborhood. Um, so regardless of the type of disaster that you might be faced with, and it might be something that locks you down in your house for several days or forces you to evacuate, uh, you need to take the same steps to prepare your pet and your family uh, for those cases. Yeah, and I know a lot of people are like me when I say my furry family is everything. So when a, situ a situation like that presents itself, I can't imagine getting separated from them. What do we do in that case? Yeah, you know, it's really important that your pet is um, has proper identification, so a microchip, and those are available through your shelter or your veterinarian, and make sure that information is current and up to date. So, for example, a lot of people change their phone number or get rid of their landline, so make sure you've got your current contact information. It's also great to have a second um, um, identification, like a collar tag, on your pet as well, and that way you can be contacted if somebody does find your pet or if it is taken to the local shelter or to the veterinary office. Keep a picture of your pet with you. Um, you can post flyers around the neighborhood. Know where your pet likes to hide. So if you've had to evacuate your home and weren't able to take your pet with you, and you can, when it's safe to go back there, you know where to find your pet. And also, oftentimes, if they're lost outside the home, they're gonna go to something that's familiar. So a park that you might have visited or something that's familiar to them. Because remember, they're gonna be looking for you just like you're looking for them. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Great advice. Anywhere you can send us online to learn more about these tips and these emergency go kits that you talked about. Sure, you can find some great information like we've talked about here and even more at um, hillspet.com slash pet prepared. Rich Anderson and Dr. Lowry, thank you so much for taking time to chat with us today. Great to have you on the show. Thank, thank you. you. If you'd like to learn more about what they spoke, spoke about, head online to our website, foxformorningblend.com.